So living within your means, what does it actually mean? What did I do and what you need to do to understand this concept better? That's the topic of today's video. Now, living within your means as a concept is basically just not spending more than you earn, right? So if you earn $5,000 a month, if you live within your means, that means that you're spending, let's say, $4,000 a month, $3,000 a month. Even if you spend $4,900 a month, you're still living within your means, right? You're spending less than you earn. That's basically what it means. It's a very, very easy concept to understand, but uh, not an easy one to to live by. And in my personal experience, I can honestly say I lived both ways, right? So um, on one hand, I lived a period of my time as a spender. I never saved anything. I always spent more than I made, always keeping the, the circle of debt, right? And it wasn't good debt. And I also lived the other way, which is saving as much as possible down to the dollar. Honestly, um, I found that the best approach, at least for me, was to have some sort of a of a balance, right? Uh, not to go too extreme to either way. And there's a phrase that I heard that I don't remember exactly who said it, but that I really like. It's like it goes like this: Life is for the living. All right, and let me explain what I mean by that. So. Every time in my life where I had like a dilemma about spending a little bit more money in exchange for experiences or something that, you know, I've always wanted and always dreamed about um, and I did it, it was totally, totally worth it. Um, at the time when thinking about the thing, uh, it always seemed like a bad idea. It always seems like not a good thing to do to overspend or spend more than I wanted to because as a general rule, I hate spending over my budget, right? So I hate if I say I want to buy something and I my budget is $5,000 and I go ahead and I research the thing and I find the thing that I, I want exactly. And the, the actual price, let's say, eventually is five fifty five hundred, right? $5,500. That's $500 over my budget. I hate overspending. But at the same time, again, every time I did it in a calculated way, it was totally worth it. And looking back at it, I can honestly say, looking back at those decisions, it's not a decisions you decision you do every day, but every once in a life, every uh, blah, I'm sorry, but every once in a while, you get to those decisions. And I can on, honestly say, every time I did it, and I looked back at the decision to spend a little bit over my budget. I always thought how silly I was that I was overthinking it, overanalyzing, and how, how happy I am that I actually made the decision to do it and not give up on it just to save a buck. This teaches me two major things that I want to convey in this video. One is that it's okay to live a little, all right? We work hard. If you work hard and you're not lazy, you should be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, right? You shouldn't have to nickel and dime about everything. And I say that not in a way that you should spend a lot of money and not think about it. You should be calculated with your money and be reasonable. But again, if you're a hard worker, if you're not lazy, if you have skills, if you make money, you should be able to enjoy it. Um, I don't know anyone who reached their senior years 
who said, you know what, I, wished, I, I wish I saved more money. It's just, it doesn't happen, right? And I also don't know anyone who in their senior years says that they regretted having life experiences, right? So it usually doesn't go, doesn't go well, right? No one takes their money to their grave and neither should you. So that's one thing that I learned about living within your means. And the second thing is, which is maybe even more important, is that you should be responsible with your money. What I mean by that is that the fact that you can overspend a little bit now for an experience in the first place is only happening because you were responsible with your money for a long period of time, right? If you haven't been responsible, you wouldn't even be in this position. So it's kind of like, it's not not exactly like that, but it's like the chicken and the egg, right? What do you do first? Well, first you be responsible, then you're in a position to say, you know what? This thing, this experience, this thing that I want to buy, this thing that I want to spend money on is very important to me and it's a little bit over my budget, but I'm going to do it anyway because I've been responsible for so long. So having the mentality mentality of thinking about your expenses and considering all the pros and cons and not just being careless will pay off in the long term, right? Living within your means does not mean denying yourself of life experience or life enjoyments. It simply means be responsible and even if you overspend once in a while, you know you will be okay. Life is for the living. Think about that message. If you like this type of content, about making money online, personal finances, uh, business, startup, entrepreneurship. I try and publish these videos on a weekly basis and my channel is aimed for young people starting their careers, looking to do something with themselves. So consider giving me the thumbs up. Even if you subscribe, that will be even better.